Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Ride 5 and today we are continuing on with our Yamaha R7 of the Dot Race Cups and this is second round, this is Road Atlanta. So we've got ahead of us Gilzo, a, a, certainly a rider I want to be towing around this circuit because I will be honest, I haven't got a nice thing to say about this track. I do not enjoy it in the slightest and terribly this corner here, I get that weird, strange bug where the rider keeps sort of like jerking and twisting his body as if he's having some sort of stroke right there in the final corner. So I'm a little bit concerned for that, but I'm hoping... Oh, <laughs> a little bit oh, up on the inside of Gilzo. That wasn't actually intentional. Sorry, Gilzo. I was uh, hoping to fo get a follow, but maybe he didn't want me to follow. So uh, let's see what we can do in the change of the direction. Now, I really got penalty for that. It looked like I was on the rumble strip there. Uh, my apologies, but it looked like I was on the curb there. I didn't realise that I'd uh, abused the track limit, so maybe you can't use the rumble strips here. But, uh, yeah, I really don't like this track. Uh, I haven't done any practice in this circuit with the Yamaha R7. I did play around in the Blue Wave circuit with Sergio 23, but here, I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get the toe from Gilzo, and hopefully I can improve the lap times. But uh, knowing here, we've got this massive straight, uh, straight approaching here, so... How are we going to work this? I guess I'm going to try and get past Gilzo, and then he can get past me, and then we can use each of the slipstream, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Someone has just spawned ahead of us. I don't know whereabouts. Oh, they are a little bit close, but uh, I'll move ahead of him, and he can now take my slipstream to get into the uh, penultimate corner, at least one of the penultimate corners. As we now go hard on the brakes, the animation's twitching again. And there is a channel member, Caspar72. Good to see him here in action on board Ride 5, because we have seen him a lot in MotoGP 23 as well. But here comes the weird glitch thing. Yeah, look at the state of that. Really strange upon the brakes as Kaspar goes a little bit wide. And now I have a bit of clear track of behind me and ahead of me from Gilzo. So the first lap time is a 133.219. I have no idea if that's a decent lap. I imagine it's not. So uh, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a penalty as well. As I say, I thought that was a bit... Unfair. I, I don't really remember hitting the grass, so let's try and avoid it. All right, that went pretty well. So uh, yeah, must have hit the grass on the previous lap. Apologies uh, for getting that wrong. But now into the right hand side and back over to the left. This is a very difficult part because you're too tight to the apex here, and you will lose the front. And I've completely messed that up on the uh, on the outside. So that's my bad for me. But uh, <laughs> look at that losing seven tenths of a second. So. A good friend of mine, Jan, from uh, Door Esports. Of course, I met him at the ADAC Sim Expo just a couple of weeks ago. I watched his video and guide from a few days ago on how to tackle that corner. Bear in mind, it was with a car, but he absolutely nailed that first corner. So, uh, yeah, I've got to got to figure that out myself and try and do it. So, we go up the inside of Gilzo, and there he comes again, alongside. <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. We should be uh, focusing on the qualifying, but... Uh, I guess if I, I just want to try and get some Gilzo assistance, I don't know what it is with uh, the Irish man, but he always has my number. In every race we've done, he always manages to finish out on top, so I would like to beat him, and hopefully I can get a bit of slipstream. But I think this lap time here is going to be a place for him to set the pace here. So a little bit wide for me across the line. Gilzo's pace is a 132.5, so... Yeah, I'm about seven tenths behind him at the moment, so nothing special coming in for me. But on it, what the hell? Oh, why? Yeah, that was just strange. I, I don't know what happened there, so uh, I guess we'll get back on track. But I am really concerned now that uh, whoever that is, they're charging quite fast, and I cannot do anything about this autopilot. This autopilot is is ridiculously long, and it's gravestone, as a matter of fact. So gravestone right behind us. I've got to move out the way here. Can I? Yeah, you can get through, right? He can. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. But uh, yeah, that was shocking. That was really bad. Um, the autopilot on this one is just way too long. I don't have much, much aspirations in this one, honestly. I think uh, if I can get anywhere near the front row, then I'll call this a victory. But uh, we have Gravestone ahead of us. This is a good sign. And apparently Gravestone's a year older than me and he's gone wide. Ah, I was hoping for that toe. I really need the toe. I'm employing the Marquez strategy here. I've got to be behind, be behind someone for me to have any hope of qualifying well. And I just don't think I can do it my own merits. I just don't know the track. I, I just... I don't know. I just can't follow it. I don't have the speed or the, the confidence around the corner. So maybe if I really took the time and started to learn it, maybe I'd begin to enjoy it. But 
it's one of those tracks that I've just got no inspiration to learn. I, I just don't like it at all. And with the Yamaha R7, I was thinking it would be much worse than this in the sense of uh, topping out at the maximum speed, but it, it's actually not that bad, so not a bad choice. I don't know who chose it. I actually didn't choose any of these tracks for this championship. Maybe the next uh, Doctor Race Cup that approaches, I'll, I'll be picking. But I don't know if you've seen already, but Race Director Mode has launched, so I'm super excited to be uh, doing the new championships very, very soon. Hopefully it won't be too long away for us to start doing our own uh, online championships. And uh, there is Gilzo, 131.694. That's impressive. Very impressive, and uh, that's not a pace I can do. I'm actually down to fifth place here. So upon the brakes we go. Weird animation. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Very, very peculiar as we just cut onto the apex and now across the line. I think this will be my potential. What is it across the line? It's a 132.998, so... <laughs> There's nothing to be excited about there, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a very difficult race for me. I'll give it everything I've got, you know me. But uh, I'm not confident in our abilities in this one. But uh, it, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm not like I'm going to win any prizes. I can't give out prizes to myself. But uh, if I can be competitive and make the content interesting, that's all that really matters. But now onto the brakes. Are we gaining a bit of conf... No way. Down again. So I'm not going to waste anyone's time. That is my lap time. It's not great, but uh, we'll learn. We'll learn from it, and hopefully, in the race, we can improve. But as you stand right now, Gilzo, Gravestone, Charlie, Race Boy, Surger Twenty Three, myself, Mad Max, Caspar, Zenkyvix, and Liam is at the back of the grid at tenth place. So let's crack on. So on the second row, not bad, but considering the amount of competitors, it's not that great either. So let's see what we can do from the second row, from sixth place away. We go. So Gilzo did get the launch, but will he have the whole shot going into turn one? I'm alongside Surge 23 here, but he's got the inside line. I'm trying not to hit him there. I'm going to try. Oh, Mad Max bumps uh, Race Boy 95 as Charlie. He might be in the way here as I'm trying to get that change of direction, but it's a little bit messy going into the chicane. Race Boy's a bit, uh, a bit everywhere as I got three tenths of a second penalty. I flew through on Race Boy. Apologies. That was a ridiculous move, but I went across the grass and there was absolutely nothing I could do. And now we're looking at eight tenths of a pen second of a penalty. That's shocking. That's my bad. Apologies to Race Boy behind because that was, a, that was a bad move. I should give that position back, but considering I've got eight tenths of a penalty, whether I give that position back or not, means he's going to be ahead of me by the end of this race anyway, so there's not a lot I can do, but I can offer him a slipstream into turn 9 if he wants to take it. So, Gilzo ahead, Sergio 23 ahead of me in third, and then it'll be Gravestone 1993 in second place. So, under the motel sign, we'll go, and uh, hopefully I, I can just get close enough to Sergio 23 to pick up a bit of slipstream. I think we are, but a smidge of it. It's, it's not enough right now to uh, really close in, but hard on the brakes. No, I've messed that up completely. That's a big mistake. As I say, I, I, do, I don't have any love for this track, and I don't think I'm going to enjoy it anymore by the end of this video. Actually, I think I'll enjoy it by that point, because it'll be finished, and I'll not have to do this track again for quite a while. But coming out to the final coin, we weren't too bad there, actually. I managed to pull back a few tenths, as uh, Charlie did the same to me. Fast Charlie, not Charles Nolan, but Fast Charlie, the real Fast Charlie, not Imposter Charlie. That's a lot of Charlies in one sentence, isn't it? <laughs> but eight tenths of a second behind the Belgian ace, the uh, the organiser and, of course, livery designer for this entire championship as he goes across and into the uh, the chicane. You have to be so careful with that chicane. Even just slightly touching that rumble strip sometimes gives you penalty. We, we've seen that in the qualifying just minutes ago, but it's now to the left-hand side. Must be careful not to crash here. His skills has gone down! He would have been championship leader. I think he was championship leader after winning the first race. But that's a disaster. That's, that's not good. So it didn't go quite to plan in the race, but in qualifying, pole position for the second time, looking very promising, but uh, disaster struck. And I think that's one of the biggest caveats of this circuit, that every single corner feels like you're going to lose a front. At every single braking marker, it just feels weird. The, the, the weird rider animation occurs, where it looks like the bike's just not working well. Otherwise, the uh, rider's enjoying the uh, vibration. But I don't know. So let's see if we can get it right this time around, going into the difficult left-hand side here for turn 12. Not bad. 
Going slower in there actually helped as we close in. And look at Sergio closing right in on the rear of Gravestone. Does he fancy a lunge into the penultimate corner? Or final corner, should I say? Not this time around, but in turn, I've actually closed in a little bit. And across the line, with the aid of Sergio23, I've just set my, my fastest lap of the weekend. 131.429. Where was that in the qualifying? As we oh, this... Look at the state of that. What on earth did I possibly do wrong there? I, I mentioned this just a moment ago. Touching the apex or just every corner feels like you're going to crash. I can't believe this has happened. That's two crashes now in two races. That's a disaster. That is... Ah, I should have put more practice in. I really should. Unfortunately, I've been doing a lot of MotoGP 23 and I'm just not in... Ch and someone else has gone down. Oh, there's collision! Oh, that's a massive amount of contact. <laughs> Gravestone and Gilzo made huge contact in that left-hand side. That's the worst place you to lose a front. Now Charlie's gone down. Race Boy's gone down. I'm telling you, this track, this track is bizarre. You just have to play it safe, I guess. You've got to play the slow route. And look at Sergio23 enjoying a five-second lead. I think it's, it's good night, Vienna, for the rest of us, but... I'm fortunate enough now to regain second place. But again, I had a very strange crash. I can't believe that I crashed the way I did. And I know Charlie and Race Boys crash in that right-hand corner. Again, if you go too tight to the apex, it's an instant crash. If you break too early for the corner before it, where Gilzo and Gravestone collided, it's an instant crash. Very strange. There's not enough feeling in Ride 5. I think we've mentioned this before, where there's just a lack of vibration. And I gained three-tenths of a penalty. For touching that apex there. Did you see that? Yeah, this track sucks. <laughs> I do not like this track at all. And it's really adding to my uh, disdain for uh, Road Atlanta. And look at the front. It's wobbling. It's chattering. Yeah, this one's... This is a bad race for me. It's. I don't deserve second place. I think all of us deserve a lot more than what we're, uh, we're going to get at the end of this one. And as it stands, due to my amount of penalty, I also appreciate Charlie's got penalty too. But as it stands, I'll be finishing third. But there is a rider behind him as well, so... It could be Gilzo on the charge. Look at me all over the place. Yeah, this one's been a bad race. I've not enjoyed this one, I'll be honest with you. But uh, if we can salvage a second place, then I guess it's not all that bad. But into the right-hand side, nice and tight to the apex, and the bike's gone down again. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that. So, uh, no decent result for me. But Race Boy, I think, yeah, better check behind me. I don't want to impede his progress again but uh, as it stands we're not going to finish on the podium well that's, that's frustrating that it's really annoying because this this race has not been fun at all I, as i say i don't know who's picked this one but uh, i blame you <laughs> i blame my bad skills as well look at greystone he's coming through now to take third place and race boy will he have the inside line on the brakes or will he think better of it mm, he's thinking about it He's really thinking about it. I'm going to go for the change of direction. Oh, I'm in a contact with Gravestone. Oh, oh, he's gone down. Oh, my goodness. And now I'm involved with another collision. Yeah, this has been my worst race ever. Apologies to Gravestone if that was my fault, but it looked like we both wanted the same piece of tarmac. And now I'm off the track. I think it should be a fourth place for me. I mean, if I lose fourth and give it to Gravestone, I don't mind. But, uh, yeah, that was bad. Really bad race. That. I hated every second of it. And somehow, I've come away with a fast lap of the race. Ridiculous. <laughs> I just don't... I don't understand this track. Those crashes were the strangest things ever. But guys, Sergio 23 wins. Uh, we better check the next result, actually, because there could be some changes with the uh, the penalties. So Sergio 23 does win. Charlie in second. Race Boy third. I did finish in fourth with the fastest lap of the race. Gravestone fifth. Gills of six. Mad Max. Thank you, Vix. Uh, Liam and Kaspar in tenth place. But guys... That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. Stick around for a lot more of these videos because there's more to come very soon. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.